If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. So, Dan, what's going on this morning? We are going to declare our right of revolution under Article 10 of the state constitution. It's never been done. The founding fathers were geniuses. They left us a roadmap and an exit plan. Amen. The exit plan was if we ever got to a point where our government no longer lived by our social compact called our state constitution, that we the people, not an individual, but we the people can fire them. We can reform our old form of government or create a new form of government. And so that's exactly what the Founding Fathers did when they wrote and declared their independence on July 4th of 1776. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evidence of a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of the sufferance of the people of New Hampshire. Such is now the necessity which cons constrains them to alter their form, former system of government. <coughs> the history of the present form of government, the statutory state of New Hampshire, is a history repeat of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over the people of the state. To prove this, let the facts be submitted to a candid world. The ends of government have become perverted. Public liberty is now manifestly endangered, and all other means of redress are ineffectual. We have petitioned and remonstrated for redress of grievances in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions and remonstrances have only been answered with repeated injury. A governor whose character is thus marked by every act which may define him a tyrant is unfit to be the executive of a free people of the state of New Hampshire. One, because we hold it a fundamental truth that the people of New Hampshire are sovereign, they are the creator and the author of the Constitution of New Hampshire, and that only they, the people, may alter, amend, or abolish said Constitution. A Declaration of Rights of the People of New Hampshire, March 4th, 1778, quote, the whole and entire power of government of this state is vested in and must be derived from the people thereof and from no other source whatsoever. Two, because, quote, the future legislature of this state shall make no laws to infringe on the rights of conscience or any other of the natural unalienable rights of men or contrary to the laws of God. Opinions of the Supreme Court of the state of New Hampshire and the Supreme Court of the United States, number three, quote, the legislature, state Supreme Court, the legislature may not, even in the exercise of its absolute internal rulemaking authority, violate constitutional limitations. John Burt versus Speaker of the House, same case, because, indeed, no branch of state government can lawfully perform any act which violates the state constitution. Five, quote, therefore, any legislative act violating the Constitution or infringing on its provisions must be void because the legislature, when it steps beyond its bounds, acts without authority. Six, that U.S. Supreme Court, Marbury v. Madison, 1803, quote, Certainly, all those who have framed written constitutions contemplated them as forming the fundamental and paramount law of the nation, and consequently, the theory of every such government must be that an act of the legislature repugnant to the Constitution is void. Seven, same case, quote, the theory is, this theory is essentially attached to a written Constitution and is consequently to be considered by this court as one of the fundamental principles of our society. It is not, therefore, to be lost sight of in further consideration of this subject. Eight, because, quote, if then the courts are to regard the Constitution and the Constitution is superior to any ordinary act of the legislature, the Constitution and no such ordinary act must govern the case to which they both apply. Nine, because thus the particular phraseology of the Constitution of the United States confirms and strengthens the principle supposed to be essential to all written constitutions that a law repugnant to the Constitution is void, 
and that courts as well as other departments are bound by that instrument. Ten, because it's also not entirely unworthy of observation that in declaring what shall be the supreme law of the land, the Constitution itself is first mentioned, and not the laws of the United States generally, but those only which shall be made pursuant to the Constitution have that rank. We, the subscribers, the citizens of this state, have taken into consideration the current emergency power statutes, RSA 445, RSA 446, RSA 447, and RSA 448, State of New Hampshire Declaration and Powers, are repugnant and contrary to the Constitution of New Hampshire. Said statute expands the powers of the executive branch without the consent of the people and as such has been achieved by violating the procedural due process provided for by the Constitution to achieve such an outcome. The Constitution of New Hampshire, quote, the law of the land, may not be amended by the legislative body of the general court. That power is retained too, and may only be exercised by the people, the sovereign, the creator of the laws of the land. So under the authority of the Constitution of New Hampshire, Bill of Rights, Part 1, Article 1, quote, all men are born equally free and independent. Therefore, all government of right originates from the people, is founded in consent, and is instituted for the general good. Article 2. All men have certain natural, essential, and inherent rights, among which are the enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property. In a word, seeking and obtaining happiness. Article 3. When men enter into a state of society, they surrender up some of their natural rights to that society in order to ensure the protection of others. And without such an equivalent, the surrender is void. Article 7. The people of this state have the sole and exclusive right of governing themselves as a free, sovereign, and independent state. And they do, and forever hereafter, shall exercise and enjoy every power jurisdiction and right pertaining thereto, which is not or may not hereafter be by them expressly delegated to the United States of America and Congress assembled. Article 8. All power residing originally in and being derived from the people, all the magistrates and officers of government are their substitutes and agents and at all times are accountable to them. Article 12. But no part of a man's property shall be taken from him or applied to public uses without his own consent or that of the representative body of the people, nor are the inhabitants of this state controllable by any other laws than those which they or their representative body have given their consent. Article 14, Bill of Rights. Every subject of this state is entitled to a certain remedy by having recourse to the laws for all injuries he may receive in his person, property, or character to obtain right and justice freely without being obliged to purchase it completely and without any denial, promptly and without delay, conformably to the laws. Article 15, no subject shall be arrested, imprisoned, despoiled or deprived of his property, immunities or privileges, put out of the protection of the law, exiled or deprived of his life, liberty or estate, but by the judgment of his peers or the law of the land. Article 38, no person can in any case be subject to the law marshal or any pains or penalties by virtue of that law except those employed in the army or navy and except the militia in actual service but by the authority of the legislature. Apologize, that's Article 34. Crimes against the people of New Hampshire. Governor Sununu Attorney General Gordon McDonald, Stephen Shirtliff, Donna Susie, President, excuse me, Speaker of the House and President of the Senate, have conspired to commit an illegal election, which is repugnant and contrary to both constitutions. Such bad faith actions from state actors disenfranchise the voters by legislative fiat, thereby diluting their vote by allowing resident aliens who are not qualified to vote as the Constitution provides. They have amended the voter qualification requirement of the Constitution of New Hampshire by legislative fiat in direct violation of the consent of the voters. The New Hampshire Bill of Rights, the rights of the people, establishes three elements to vote. They are as follows. One, you must be a citizen of the state of New Hampshire. Two, 
you must be qualified to vote. Such persons are described as inhabitants, not residents. Three, you must be a, have a domicile. Common law dwelleth and hath his home. The Constitution of New Hampshire Bill of Rights, Article 11. The provision for absentee voting only allows two exemptions. Those who are absent from the city of, or town of which they are inhabitants. In other words, they're already qualified, they're already registered to vote. Or by reason of physical disability are unable to vote in person. Governor Sununu and Attorney General McDonald have conspired to commit voter fraud for more than two years by concealing their knowledge of unlawful changes to New Hampshire voting laws. On July 3rd, 2018, a lawsuit was filed against Christopher Sununu in his, in his private capacity over unconstitutional voting laws. He refused to answer the complaint and subsequently defaulted. Seven days after defaulting on the case, Sununu used taxpayer resources, the Attorney General's office, as his own legal counsel and caused the civil suit against him to go away. The suit made the case there was no provision in the Constitution of New Hampshire granting the right to vote to U.S. citizens who are resident aliens of a statutory state. Additionally, it made the case that the legislature cannot grant the right to vote by legislative fiat, by allowing U.S. citizens who are resident alien aliens the right to vote, that, that to which the Constitution does not provide. Meanwhile, both Speaker Stephen Shirtliff and President of the Senate Donna Susi were put on notice when a remonstrance was filed May 20, 2019, which provided the same evidence as detailed in the lawsuit against Sununu. They both violated their const the constitutional rights of the people by depriving the legislative body of the knowledge that the voting laws were unconstitutional and were disenfranchising the voters of this state by diluting their vote. And by such acts, they deprive a citizen of this, of this state due process of law, the right of redress of grievances, with, which in turn deprives all the people of the state of a lawful government. February 25, 2020, a felony complaint was filed as a sworn affidavit against Shirtliff and Susie with Attorney, excuse me, Attorney General Gordon McDonald and with the Legislative Ethics Committee for deprivation of a citizen's rights under color of law. Attorney General McDonald refused to investigate or act. Two weeks later, all the named parties violated the Constitution. Governor Sununu shut down the state. Shirtliff and Susie suspended the legislature. They shut down the investigation into a felony criminal complaint before the Ethics Committee, even though the committee already possessed the ability to meet remotely. And for four and a half months, they prevented the committee from assembling until after they passed House Bill 1266. Only after the agenda was over did the Ethics Committee convene in secret to dismiss the complaint on August 5th, 2020. The citizens of this state have been and are now being deprived of their constitutional right to oversee the function of their government in the people's house. The wrongdoers met in an unconstitutional location and enacted House Bill 1266. The governor signed it into law on July 17, 2020. This was done while the AG, Shirtliff and Susi, knowing that there was a felony complaint of voter fraud before the Ethics Committee and concealing such from the legislative body and the public until the legislative session was over, which enabled them to commit more voter fraud by enacting House Bill 1266, which expanded the absentee voter provision by legislative fiat. Speaker Stephen Shirtliff and President of the Senate Donna Susi have called together the legislative bodies at places unusual, uncomfortable, and distance from the depository of the public records for the sole purpose of depriving the people of the ability to oversee the function of the legislative body as provided by the Constitution of New Hampshire. Part, part 1, Bill of Rights, Article 8 and part, Article 38. Quote, how prophetic this was a frequent recurrence to the fundamental principles of the Constitution and a constant adherence to justice, moderation, temperance, industry, frugality, and all social virtues, virtues are indispensably necessary to preserve the blessings of liberty and good government. The people ought, therefore, 
to have a particular regard to those principles in the choice of their officers and representatives. And they have a right to require of their lawgivers and magistrates an exact and constant observance of them in the formation and the execution of the laws necessary for the admi good administration of government. The aforesaid persons have, ende have endeavored to disenfranchise the inhabitants of the state by allowing resident aliens who are not naturalized to the state to vote in New Hampshire elections. The governor has obstructed the administration of justice by refusing to assent to the laws of the land, restoring the constitutional legislative oversight of the judicial branch. The governor continues to make judges dependent on his will alone for their tenure of their offices and the amount and payment of their salaries. The governor continues to operate a multitude of offices not provided for in the Constitution and has sent hither swarms of officers to harass our people and eat out their substance. He has kept among us in times of peace standing armies of enforcement agents without the consent of the people or any authority derived from the Constitution. He has combined with others to subject us to a jurisdiction foreign to our Constitution, unacknowledged by our laws, given his assent to their act of pretend legislation. The, govern the governor is now depriving the people of this state of the benefits of trial by jury. The governor has abolished the constitutional rights of the citizens of this state and, the most, and our most valuable laws and has altered the fundamental form of our government. Our form of government has been, has been a, excuse me, our form of government has become a complete system of tyranny. The same party is the legislator, the accuser, the judge, and the executioner by declaring themselves invested with the power to legislate in secret in all cases whatsoever. They have abolished all effective means of redress of grievances, thereby denying the people of the state their rights and their rights to a Republican form of government secured by our constitutions to ensure the protection of others in their pursuit of life, liberty, and acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, in a word, seeking and obtaining happiness. Sununu, Shirtliff, Susie, and McDonald have violated their oath of office. They have failed in their duty to faithfully execute the laws of the state according to the best of their abilities, agreeable to the laws of the land, the New Hampshire Constitution. Under state law, New Hampshire RSA 92 colon 2, quote, any such person who violates said oath after taking the same shall be forthwith dismissed from office or position involved. Ready, ready, ready folks, on the count of three. One, two, three. You're fired! Again. 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 Lastly, Bill of Rights, Part 1, Article 10. Government being instituted for the common benefit, protection, and security of the whole community, and not for the private interest or emolument of any one man, family, or class of men. Therefore, whenever the ends of government are perverted, and the public liberty manifestly endangered, and all other means of redress are ineffectual, the people may and of right ought to reform the old or establish a new government. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary power and oppression is absurd, slavish, and destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. We the people, the good citizens of the state of New Hampshire, declare the November 3rd, 2020 election void for fraud and of no effect, leaving no constitutionally elected body. And further, we declare that the statutory state and all its affects are void for fraud. We therefore, the citizens of the state, assembled at the State House, appealing to the Supreme Judge of the world for the rectitude of our intentions, do in the name and by the authority of the Constitution of New Hampshire, Part 1, Bill of Rights, Article 10, solemnly publish and declare that the state of New Hampshire is the and of right ought to be free in all allegiance to the statutory state of New Hampshire and all political connection between the citizens of the state and the statutory state is and ought to be totally dissolved and to do all other acts which independent states may of right do and for the support of the declaration with firm reliance on the protection of divine province we mutually pledge 
to each other, our lives, our fortune, and our sacred honor. Now it's time. I'd like everyone to sign this document. Yeah. Secretary of State, he's the one that's his job. He records all important historical documents. You gotta send it to so, the AG too. No, we're gonna walk over there and hand it to him personally and tell him he's fired. Time to pack your bags, buddy. This Go back to about, California. Well, listen, this isn't about COVID. This is about the rule of law. We either have a constitution or we don't. One man can't suspend the Constitution indefinitely in meet in secret because only the, the government can only exist by the consent and the will of the people. Our state constitution could not be more clear. That's what's so beautiful about it. Like the reps to come with me first, please. Like everyone to fall in behind us and we'll go until someone comes to see us. You ready? Yeah. Behind the cameraman. Oh, almost a hundred people. We're here to uh, let the attorney general know that we, the people, have just fired him. We've de we've declared our independence. We're exercising our right under Article Ten, right of revolution. We have a social compact called the state constitution and he apparently has never read the document because apparently he feels that he can do whatever he wants. So what they've done is they've abolished all effective means of redress by locking the government down. There is no redress by petition, there's no redress by remonstrance, there's no re redress by the courts, and they've run an illegal election. He personally has been conspiring for two years to commit voter fraud. What your complaint is, which I'm writing down, and at this point, I'm going to get that message upstairs to Mr. McDonald, find out what he wants to do, yep. you know, as far as meeting or talking. And at this point, I think I need to ask all of you to go back outside because you're blocking our doors, our emergency exits. Let's take a vote. Hey, folks. Yeah. They want us to go outside and wait for Mr. McDonald to come out and no, greet us. We're blocking no. the access. No, we're not blocking. We're, we're not passing. blocking. People can get in and out. As we're not we blocking. see him come down, we'll go outside. Only if he doesn't lock the door. Don't lock the door. Don't lock the door. But we, need, we need assurances that he's actually going to come out because right. it could just be a tactic to get us out. If you cannot lock the door, you can't lock the door. If they want to scatter themselves away. Then we'll peacefully go along. We'd, Thank we'd, you. We'd like to see him in about five minutes. And these are state representatives, by the way. I think you representatives should stay Thank inside. You. you can move around with the reps. All right. Representatives, stay inside. Do not leave. Do not leave. Hi, my name is Daniel Richard. We're here at the Attorney General's office to uh, get the, the Attorney General to uh, come out and talk to us about voter fraud. So he's yet to uh, appear, and uh, uh, we've declared, we've served, we've declared our independence, and we're exercising our right under Article 10 under right of revolution. And this government has abolished all means of effective regional grievance, and therefore, the right of revolution applies. This is the same attorney general who's been prosecuting local business owners across the state, correct? That's right. That's a violation of state statute 638, fraud unlawful simulation of the legal process. There's no law on the books. That's what the legislature is for. Right, he's enforcing governor's orders right. against guidance, the people. Guidance is not a law. But we, don't, we don't need the legislature anymore because the governor just makes executive order, you know, yeah. every law he wants, he just makes an executive order. So right. let's tell him to just abolish the legislature. We don't need it anymore. Let's stop pretending. Even, even the emergency statutes themselves only provide him to have authority over a management or, or excuse me, emergency management forces and their helpers only. There is no authority within within that statute that allows him to interfere with private persons or private businesses. That's why what he's doing is a crime. Now, has everyone been fired? Everyone's been fired. <laughs> the election was illegal, therefore there's no one lawfully elected, so their term expires on January 6th, doesn't it? 
Are Zoom meetings legal? No, they're absolutely illegal. How are the people to have oversight over the function of their legislative process? You can't see their face and they mute you. You have to ask to be muted to speak. You raise your hand and there's no guarantee that you're right. You raise your hand. And that's going, that's going on everywhere, even beyond our government. It's going on our business. So you wrote a new declaration of independence. You read it earlier before yes. we came here. Is it your intention to deliver that to the Attorney General here? I already have. I gave a copy to his secretary. Okay. So he's reviewing the document now. Now, that's what's taking so if he doesn't come down he's already got it so. right right okay. we've got a hundred witnesses I'm, I'm telling you right we now you need to exit here to okay go. that's not, not what's been not, going on no okay no, no look you can walk right through these people when I walked out it's clearly blocked okay I'm telling you you need to go out on the sidewalk you can stand there that's fine we're gonna stay here because we're not gonna get pneumonia we're trying to redress our government and they cannot ignore us they need to come down and speak to us Mr. Gordon McDonald's in the office I'd like to see him, please. Okay. This is a state representative, so is state he, and so is... Okay, and, and I appreciate that. Again, I'm telling you, everyone in here needs to go out okay. on the sidewalk, okay? We, we can't do that? No, 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 no. No. So if it's a Based law, on what? So, here we go. Let's go. Sure. We're not going to argue about this in here, okay? Sure. Please address your boss. You said you didn't speak to Gordon McDonald. He knows we're here. He knows we're here. So you told us five minutes. That was 20 minutes ago. Okay, yeah, that was enough to no, me. No, you need to call your boss. I haven't been out here. Sure, I'll, I'll put in a call to them, and I'll, I'll call them and, and let them know your concerns. And they will ignore you. Okay. My husband's a police officer for many years. Okay. My son's in the military. I appreciate all and that. And I totally I respect you, yeah. but could you please go to your boss and have him do his job because he works for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Once, once everyone goes out on the sidewalk, sure, as I requested, I'll... Talk to us I'll, after I'll, everyone vacates. Sure, once everyone vacates, yeah, I'll put a call and, on, and, and we'll address you, okay? Oh, no, he just asked you to do that right now. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Once, once so I can verify if one goes out... You're, you're gonna, are you going to lie to us and tell us you're going to go outside and then leave us on the side? I'll go talk to whoever you need me to talk to, okay? I'm just, okay. He said he'd be here five minutes, 20 minutes ago. I don't understand why he just didn't come down and then we would go outside with him. We would be happy to know it's more now. We would just come down and we would have him go outside with him. He's doing what he's told. So you're saying these people were blocking the... Well, they, they clearly were, okay. I mean, I could see a clear I mean, I've been standing here for quite a while since yeah. before everyone got here, okay? And uh, right. the second I came out here is clearly all these uh, exits and exits. what's your name, blocked. officer? I'm Trooper Cotnor with the State Police. Connor? Cotnor. Cotnor. Trooper Cotnor with the State Police. Mm -hmm. And how about you? Trooper Kevin McGregor. Nice to meet you. McGregor? Yep. All right. Now, are you going to yell at them because they're blocking the uh, the entrance here? No, we were asked to have everyone vacate the lobby. The lobby. Yep. I see. They're just following orders. They're just following orders. Yeah, you know nothing about hey, that. Hey, Nazis did that. Yep. Uh -huh. Did they lock the door? Who's the what they do. They follow they orders. Well, the Nazis they don't were very professional. Listen, they also took an that's right. Now. That's right. And so it's time to uh, have that conversation with them when they're ready to come out here. I did ask the trooper to come out and speak with us once okay, we vacated. Everybody. But he has the gun, so he's the boss. Share, share, that's share. always the one that makes the rules. Yeah, yeah listen, the chief of the matter is company, they, don't, they, don't want to, they don't want to be involved anymore, but they've got jobs and careers they've got to take care of their families to care for. I get it. Listen, I'm pro-law enforcement. They shouldn't be in this position. They shouldn't have to be stuck working for a criminal. He signed up for this job, he goes every day, and he can resign. So, yeah. some Nazis resigned and some didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, remember the Nuremberg trials. Yep. We were yep. just following they said they were following orders, orders, and it was not a good excuse. So it's not a good excuse. And this bastard pushed me out and said there's not enough space. We did not block a single person from getting in or out. There's plenty of space. We're not going to block anyone. If we well, block a single person, we can save you something. Yeah. It's bullshit. And then it'll come down? Not coming down today. No, he's getting in touch with you, but he's not coming down today. He has to I read it. I read it. She's. He's not coming down. He's got he's coming. Got that's needings. very bad. 
Oh, no. I'm going to tell the group He's that. Thank you. Ask his secretary hey, Holly, wine he likes. we've got to get a copy to Bill Gardner, so you want to splinter off and get someone to come get the copy? Go to the side door, call them down, and tell them that you have a copy and you want one of those copies stamped. He said that 40 minutes ago, that he was in meetings? Nope. He's busy prosecuting local business owners. You know, he's got priorities. There's two in there. Yeah, you need someone who's bidding and making up more EOs and they're making more mandatory masks. They got to get that revenue. We'll see you again in the next rally, Erica the seventh. Yes. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.